and welcome to another episode of Somebody Told Larry It Couldn't Happen, so he's going to do it anyway. I am going to attempt to fit a crush-proof fill tube to an old-school thread-on mini mTOR. Now, I've got an idea of how this is going to work, because the crush-proof fill tube is a slit fit over this top... Uh, lip ring hole uh and so the only things in its way are said threads now i could attack it with a pair of flush cutters but i think the flush cutters are going to do more harm than good as in they're basically just going to try and crush this plastic and probably crack something which means i'm going to have to go find some tape to mask all of this off with and we're going to have to play the long game. I mean, hey, that works. I, uh, the, the file wasn't really... The, the, the cuttings couldn't evacuate. It was just clogging the file because it's plastic and not metal. So, uh... Uh, I put an 80 grit disc on my one electric sander, and that's chewing through it pretty quickly. I'm going to have to be careful so it doesn't get away from me, but I mean, it works. Chris here, and welcome back to Click Spring. Today, I'd like to do something completely idiotic to a vacuum cleaner. I've left the work just short of the line to allow for a bit of hand finishing. Well, while it's certainly not winning any beauty contests, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call that done. I don't much care about any of this because you never see it for one and for two. All I care about is if it works. Now, ideally, I would have liked to have left just a little bit of a lip for the, uh, the uh, barbs on the... Uh, fill tube to grab onto so I could just use a zip tie but if worse comes to worse it'll just take like an auto part store hose clamp just to hold it on so uh I'll go find a crush proof fill tube and we'll see if it works and so there you have it I went and robbed the crush proof tube off of my ultimate g and it was more than a slit fit it's a very tight fit like it it doesn't want to come off but uh I think a zip tie clamped down tight enough may very well hold that on. But uh, if worse comes to worse, I do have a little hose clamp here that I may or may not have robbed off my neighbor's Dodge. So uh, there, there you have it. Uh, we'll give it a run here in just a bit. Actually, as a matter of fact, the way I did it, if you don't get too carried away with it, uh, it actually, like, I, I can... I can tug on this as much as I want. Like, it's not coming off. It took some heat to expand it, sort of, and stretch it over. Now, when it cooled off, I would imagine it shrank, just like your typical interference fit. But, like, it doesn't even need a zip tie. Like, th this won't come off. So, uh, fantastic. I'll, I'll put a zip tie on it anyway, just for presentation purposes. But, that okay, rocks. So, there it is all complete with the just for presentation not even that tight zip tie on it uh like i said it's not coming off at all there's no way that'll come off but i can sit there and tug on it it's not going nowhere so uh once i decide what machine i want to put it on we will go from there and we'll see you in the next video